Okay, so uh, this is my homemade lithium charger and uh, these two blocks over here start developing strange behavior. They are not working anymore. So I think it's time to take them out and to see what's happening over there. And by the way, my TS100, it's supplied by one of these lithium pack batteries it's almost 20 volts or something okay you see this one are charging now i have a step down converter here from 12 volts to approximately six and uh, let me see what's happening with these two modules so first of all we have a mosfet over here a mosfet transistor over here so this is very important let me see if it's still alive or is shorted or something okay. so this uh, MOSFET is a uh, 8205A so that's this is pin number one so this is a drain and another drain source and source okay they are and have a gate and another gate so theoretically these two are together these two are together and drain to drain are also together let's see i have here gate with drain no it's okay let me see the other one so there is no short it's looking like the mosfets are okay what i'm gonna do now is to apply five folds my external battery to these modules to see what is happening okay nothing happens it's even shorting the, the power supply okay and we have a clear short over here four zero five six but let's check it for tp okay so if we analyze here to have a short plus to minus we can have this c3 and i think it's this one in short okay let me see yeah so what we can do first of all we can take of this. And still have the short here. Okay. This is out. Let's check if you still have the short here. No more short, of course. Well, I have some other circuits. I have another one here. The most that it's gone. But we can see what's happening with the TPA power on and it's working yes it's working so let me take this from this one and plant it over here That's it. Let's wait for a little bit of cooling and I have my cooling system here. That should be okay. Let's check for let's check for short. Not anymore. And let's power the little module. Okay, it's still hot? No, it's okay. And it's working. All we have to do now is to check if it's really charging something. Yes, it's working. So then I can put this back into the charger module nice 
Okay, let's see what's happening with the other one. This one over here, I'm storing what can be wrong. Okay, let me see if I can find another TPA. That should be fine now. Let's see what's happening if we apply power. Well, it's looking good for now. Let's see if it's charging anything. So, where are... Okay, there you are. So, this is minus. Over here, and this is plus. And it's working. This can, this also can go back to the charging board. and the plus goes up here perfect let's have some power on mm -hmm. much better now it's perfect power on and there we go course I have to I have to do the connection over here so this is minus yep That should do the magic now. Power on. And voila. These two are working. This is charged. So these two are working. And this is on. Okay. So now let me have this back. This helps a little bit with the, the cooling. No, it's pretty improvised, but it's effective. But it's, I know it's improvised, but it's effective. The module is fixed again, so it can start charging and do the job. I could use two. Yeah, that's it. This is perfect. So let me see the other one. Okay, everything is just good. So that's it. What I, I'm surprised about TPA, they get ruined. Maybe, maybe the voltage is too much. Let me check the parameters because I have like six volts over here. But if we take this, so input supply voltage can go to eight volts. Okay, so we got six volts over here. That should be okay. I'm really surprised because I never had this kind of problem with the circuits, you know, getting like this. This is funny, but that's okay. 
at least we replace it and we have some more spare parts okay thank you for now this was another project and uh, don't forget to have fun and be safe bye bye